anyone try to obstruct my travel, falsely arrest me, and try to keep me out of work like that before? I mean, basically, all of those things happened after I reported the FBI employees in Portland, Oregon. I was never being blocked from traveling, having my cars stolen from me, you know, under false pretenses of an illegal suspension. I didn't have judges working hard to keep me out of a lawsuit against them. I didn't have FBI colluding with local police officers to repeatedly put me in jail. I mean, it wasn't like they put me in jail because it was for my own safety. They put me in jail to keep me unsafe. I would have been safe if I had been working and making a few hundred in tips every night and paying for my own things. I would have had financial security. They didn't want me to be financially secure. They wanted me to be financially insecure and completely dependent or on the streets looking like a homeless person. It was basically either I get married to Alvaro Pardo or I'm going to look like the most despicable homeless person that anybody has ever seen. Because if I don't marry Alvaro, I'm not marrying anybody. I'm not going to be with anybody. I'm not going to have my son. I'm going to look like a total social disgrace. And I'm going to be tortured too. That's exactly what they did to me. And Alvaro is guilty for knowing all of these things were happening to me and my son and doing nothing. Most likely, I wouldn't doubt it if he thought it was funny. My belongings were then left because I was forced into homelessness at that, at that point and had to go to women's shelters and then had just a random fiasco of events occur there. Basically, my, my things were being held at, held for me indefinitely. They said I could pick, them, pick things up at any time when I was in a better situation. So they didn't tell me that they wanted to mail all my things to me until I was in Nashville, Tennessee. And at the point that they said they wanted to mail my things to me in Nashville, Tennessee, Kate Middleton had already gotten engaged. And I really didn't think that this had very anything to do with Kate Middleton until I started looking at some of the timing of, of various things. All of a sudden, after she was engaged and I was in Tennessee, then Shannon Borg sends me an email telling me, we can send all of your stuff to you in Tennessee. I was staying at a women's shelter in Tennessee. And this is immediately prior to my being thrown into a mental ward, mental health ward, falsely again, because of Middleton, ten, um, Middleton or Nashville, it's called Middleton County, because of Nashville, Tennessee, uh, FBI and military, they basically wanted to continue punishing me. And Shannon Borg was trying to have all of these important, very important documents and my clothing and everything. She was trying to have all of that shipped to me immediately prior to the time that they wanted to have me admitted. Basically, the FBI was telling me to go to the you know, emergency room and get quote-unquote checked out, and then they would talk to me. They wanted me to go in for my knee and for any bleeding or whatever. Just have a blood, just have them do a quick CBC and make sure everything's okay is what they told me. And then we'll take your report seriously. So right after the FBI tells me that's what I need to do next, and they know that probably that's what I'll do because I have a whole bunch of things going on and I'm having problems, um, like death threats and, all, and, and various things in that area. Shannon Borg and her Canadian partner 
are trying to dump off all of my belongings in at in to me in Tennessee knowing I had no safe place to put anything. If they had dropped if they had mailed all of my things to me over there at that time, I would have lost all of my personal belongings to how to to Middleton County, Tennessee. And wouldn't that have been funny? You know, how symbolic. She lost everything in Middleton. She lost everything to Middleton. I mean, it was Middleton County. It's like Shannon Borg and her Canadian friend, they deliberately wanted me to, they were hoping that I was going to lose everything in Middleton, Tennessee. And instead I said, no, don't send it to me right now. I will let you know. I'll send you another email. I'll let you know when I'm in a safe place, but I have no safe place to receive things at this time. So then I tried to contact her again, and I didn't hear from her. But she could have emailed me at any time and just let me know. I mean, if she, if she had a problem with it, she would have told me. Before, she had always said indefinitely, um, I could keep my things with them. So basically, I think they were hoping maybe that I could lose everything to Middleton, Tennessee, and the FBI could confiscate most of it. The police or FBI in Middleton. Or think about it this way. The Middleton FBI could take it. Which is really funny because Kate Middleton ended up getting a lot of information, including my entire file from the FBI when the FBI wouldn't even give me my own information. And then, you know, they wanted to step it up and, and humiliate me further and and make some kind of a symbolic point for her to make her happy and her dad and mom happy. And since I knew I couldn't receive my things at that time, and it wasn't a safe time, instead what happened is I ended up being thrown into a mental ward, and I didn't lose all of my belongings because of that, but I was made fun of, and then I had my hand broken for the Middletons, and I was hand printed. And when I finally tried to um, I actually think I'm uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, and then after after the the Middleton wedding, I remember that I I called or emailed a couple of times. I never heard from Shannon Borg ever again. It was sort of like. They were hoping that I was going to lose everything before the wedding and that would be really funny and, and great points for the Canadians and for the Middleton family and the FBI because the FBI backs Middletons, not their own citizens. I mean, basically, since she works with the FBI and for the FBI, the FBI in the United States treats her like an employee. She basically has citizen, U.S. citizen rights ten times over and above what my son and I have as natural born citizens to the, of the United States. I mean, this country tortured my son Oliver for her. I mean, not just for her, but she and her family were uh, an interested party. I think that 
I don't know if this looks just really weird with my nose and everything showing. Maybe it looks better if I just have my eyes showing. I don't know. What I know is that This country has committed horrible crimes, and they have not compensated us for any of this. Instead, I was tortured again today. I mean, they just, they don't ever stop. They don't, they haven't figured it out. They don't recognize or acknowledge the fact that they're criminals and think of ways that they could make a difference and change something or how it's damaging to the entire country and not just to me. I mean, nobody who's an actual citizen, anybody who is a citizen of the United States and thinks of the United States as belonging to all the people doesn't want to shame the United States. Any normal country leader knows this. Any interested group, political group, belonging to a country or trying to support a country, they know that. You don't shame an entire nation with, by doing things like this to individuals that are your own citizens. And it's not just because you don't do that to those citizens. You don't do that because it's a disgrace to the name of the country and to all of the other people who are in the country who are innocent. And it damages your international standing as well. So, so the people that have allowed this to happen and who encourage it, my, why do they have, why do all of those, these non-patriotic self-interested parties have their own interests in mind and they have the jobs with the government? Basically, when I finally got a few months uh, later after I got back to Wash to Oregon, and I'm skipping ahead a little bit because I'll go back to what happened when then I had to be homeless in Wenatchee and and what happened with my son's case and, and everything there. But I was sort of fast forwarding through the trajectory of what was happening, specifically with Shannon Borg and, and her Canadian partner. after all of these horrible things were done to us. Um, you know, I ended up back in Oregon next to my family, to my, next to my parents, and I asked her again where my things were, and I finally had to, she just ignored me. So I finally had to send her certified letter to her place of employment. And when she finally responded, she said, we don't have it anymore. Basically, she said, um, she, she just said that they didn't have it anymore. And I already knew that Kate Middleton had it, had things. And she had already been looking through my, all of those personal items of mine. I mean, not, not just like, in a few months before her wedding, she had had access to those things long before then. When I was, after I was trapped in the state of Washington, basically, in, in Wenatchee, because I couldn't get back to my, my belongings. She'd gone through everything. And when my items...